So I was just filming a video of basically the Sony ZV-10. Is it worth in 2024? I think I rambled. Hopefully I don't have to remake that video because it took me like five times to actually make it because there was a lot of noise and a lot of distractions and there's still a lot of noise and distractions, but we're gonna get this over with. Should you get the Sony ZV-1 or should you get the Sony ZV-E10? Now, I don't have the Sony ZV-1 anymore, but I did have both of them and I used them. Um, this one, not so much as the Sony ZV-1, but I'm gonna tell you the differences and which one you should get. So I've been doing photo, video work for like a little bit. Not like work, but it's more mostly for YouTube and stuff like that. I really like it because it's like, basically it's just telling stories. So I'm guessing you guys know that the ZV line is basically like the vlogger, YouTuber type cameras. So there's no EVF. So there's no viewfinder where you go like that, take photos like most other cameras do. I'm recording with the Canon R6 Mark II. So that one does have it in its full frame and uh, yeah. This camera is a APS-C, so, so that's what the sensor looks like. And the Sony ZV-1 is just a one inch sensor. This is a DJI Pocket 3, and that one has a one inch sensor. But this one is better than the Sony ZV-1. But maybe we'll make a video about that later. I mean, actually I do have videos of comparing the DJI Pocket and the Sony ZV-1 if you guys wanna see which one's better. I'm gonna just spoil it, this one's better, but go see why. So the Sony ZV-10, it's all basically the same features, same mic, same like out of focus background, product showcase mode where you do that, it focuses real quick. On this one, you can monitor your audio and on the other one, you can't. Right here on the side, it has a micro HD and it has a USB type C charger. So you can just plug it in, charge it. Where on the other one, it's a micro USB. So it's kind of like older. I mean, this one has a bigger battery. I mean, I think it's kind of obvious. They both have one SD card slot. And uh, I think those are like the main things. So the reason why you're getting the Sony ZV-10, I mean, which one's better? They're both basically the same. I mean, yeah, both basically the same. The Sony Z1, I would say it's a little bit better if you have more light out because it has a built-in ND, which if you shoot manual, you can make yourself look even better. This one doesn't have one, but you can switch lenses on this one. And that's what I was getting to. Like, like if you're gonna get this, get ready to invest money into it. If not, if you're not gonna invest money if you're not gonna take YouTube or your film clients or whatever, seriously, then get the Sony ZV1. That one's still pretty good. You can get good stuff, but this one, dude, you get crazy stuff with it. Like, this one's good. I wouldn't really recommend the A6000 series anymore. Maybe the A6600, but just get the A6700, which is 1,500 just body. Almost like 2,000 with the kit lens, or this with like a kit lens, it's 900, $1,000. Uh, but it just depends on what you're trying to do. The other ones I wouldn't recommend because it's just, it's not, they're good, like if you know what you're doing, but most people don't know. So this is just way easier. And the A6400, 65, 63, one, and this, like the A6000, uh, they're all like overpriced. They're over $1,000. People are selling it for that much. And this is like $1,000 brand new. You could buy it used for like five to $700 probably. And this is technically better. Like it has more features. The only difference is it doesn't have EVF where you could you find her, but most people don't use it anymore. They just use it like this because everyone's on their phone all the time, taking photos and all that. But yeah, both cameras are basically the same thing. The Sony ZV-1, ZV-10. This one, you can swap lenses. That's the only reason why you would get this one, really. Uh, besides that, everything else is the same. If your lens is power zoom, you can just go like that, boom. I think those are main differences. I think we'll just stop the video. Uh, it's just a quick video, you know? And there's a lot of noise. It's just like, what's the point? I think I'm gonna refilm the video if you should get this thing. Because I didn't say you could record 4K 30, where I might just edit that in. I still gotta see. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know. I don't wanna say that I'm feeling kind of like sad or depressed or mad. Because I'm not really. It's just like, watch your noise. Like good nature, but something went in my eye.